All right, it's so 2011 Kia Sportage. All right, we're gonna be doing the uh, front brake pads. Uh, customer supplied the brake pads. Um, he got the regular, I think, either organic, I believe. He got the organics. I personally recommend the uh, gold or better. See here. I personally recommend the gold or better, but I'm gonna show you guys how to replace these front brake pads. So let's get inside the vehicle. I already got the handbrake on. Pop the hood. Let's get inside here. Move this cap. All right, it's four cylinder. All right, now let's get started. Remove these five 21 millimeter lug nuts. One, two, three, four. And here's a lock nut. Or wheel lock, I should say. There we go. All right, now let's remove this wheel. Got out the way. And now we can turn the wheel towards us. Let's look at the condition. Yeah, he's getting low. We weren't grinding, which is good, but he was getting low. All right, let's remove these two caliber bracket, caliber bolts. Top is a 14. Bottom is also a 14. Usually they're always the same, but remove the top and bottom brake caliber bolt. I gotta push this piston in some. All right. Piston in a little bit. And now uh, we're getting close. Not yet. A little bit more. I'd rather use my tool, but she has to go in some more. There we go. Now let's push in this piston with the old brake pad. Now we can push in this piston. Went in pretty smooth. That feels good. All right, remove the brake pad. Take your bungee cord. Let's tire up here. All right, no stress in that line there. If you have to, you can remove it. I think it might be maybe a 13 size millimeter uh, bolt. But as you can tell, use a bungee cord or zip tie, whatever you gotta do, you'll be able to get that out the way without having to remove that bolt there. All right, next, let's remove this other brake pad. Next, we're gonna move the brake caliber bracket. Bottom, here's the top. I believe they're 17s. They're not 17s, they're 19s. But honestly, they should be 17. All right, let's put that bolt back. Now let's clean up this bracket.
You don't want any binding. There we go, that feels good. Okay, take a little bit of anti-seize. Let's get it on the hardware. A little bit, you don't need a lot. Pad did not come with new hardware. I wish it did, but it didn't. So next we take our pads. Just gonna place it like so. Back to the vehicle. Let's spread this out some more. So it'll fit on the rotor. There we go. Take this bolt here. You start the threads by hand. Get the bottom. Now we're on to the top. Now let's tie those two down. That tighten. All right, now let's torque those two bolts. Okay. It's the bottom bolt we're gonna torque first. Oh, why is that one loosen? Right. Here we go. Now let's do this top bolt. Here we go. Feels pretty good. All right, next thing we wanna do, take our brake caliber, remove it from the spring. And now, we wanna place it onto our brake pads. And now grab your 14s. Got my 14, I started by hand. There you go. That's pretty good. Now do the bottom bolt. That's pretty good. All right, now let's tighten these two. Do not over torque them. If anything, they're like 26 foot pounds. Feels pretty good. Now let's put this wheel back on. Before I do that, let's give it a little spray. Let's clean her up. That should be good. Let's get this wheel in the face of the rotor. Start your lug nuts by hand. But I'm going to start with the wheel lock. There's your 21. Okay. Feels good. Drop that one. That was good. All right, now let's tie these down. I try not to have that too tight, personally. But I make sure the actual lug nuts on there. Then you do the same thing to the other side, and then I'll see you guys on a test drive. Thank you guys. All right, once you're done, next let's pop this hood again and put our cat back on. Here we go. Get inside the vehicle. Start her up. Pump the brake. 
so it firms up. That feels pretty good. Let's take off the parking brake. And it's test drive one. Pretty much check pedal fill, look for any strange noises. I won't be able to hear me, there's a helicopter coming. Let's make this right. Pretty good. So we'll go down this driveway. So to worry about traffic. They don't have any strange noises. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Always remember, for better, faster service, quick fix here. Thank you.